the words of knowledge God has given to me, I just want to release them to the public so that others can also benefit from it. This kind of fasting are the ways God commune as we subdue our flesh before Him. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you. To reveal we worship you. We adore you, O Lord. We give you praise. We give you thanks. Take all the glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Join us on our program. Father. And you will be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Please like us, share, and subscribe to our social network. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, and God bless you as you do. Beloved, God bless you, and welcome to the Old Lord Save Our Children's Program. I welcome you officially to this 1st of May 2020, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Maryland, United States of America, on the altar of prayer for the old Lord Save Our Children. I want to thank you, Dad and Mom, youth and children alike. You are highly welcome. We want to thank God for all that He has been doing for us all throughout previous months. The powerful thing God has been doing in the life of our children, healing them, restoring their foundation with fire and power, turning their life in an excellent way academically, releasing wisdom, knowledge, and understanding upon them. We thank God for the mighty power of God in the life of our children and the life of family members. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Again, I want to welcome you again. To the old law save our children's program i believe children you are ready to pray with your parents and as you have gathered here may god himself answer us powerfully in the name of jesus let's close our eyes father in the name of jesus we want to thank you for this wonderful program you have set aside for our children worldwide thank you for the mighty things and uh, the salvation righteousness healing deliverance restoration you'll be releasing in the life of our children through this program and so lord god in heaven we say thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of our heart in the name of jesus lord again we have gathered before your name we ask that your mighty presence be established here in the name of jesus we command the blood of jesus let it overshadow us now and our children in the name of jesus we call upon the fire of the holy ghost let it overshadow every home every parent every child in the name of jesus let the angels of god be dispatched round about here and fight battles for us grant us victory in the name of jesus we soak our spirit soul and body with the fire of god with the blood of jesus father lay your hand upon our children deliver them bless them and set them free from every troubling powers of darkness in the name of jesus we cover this network and everything we are about to do now with the blood of Jesus. Father, have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. Now forevermore. Hallelujah. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. Now forevermore. Forevermore. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Hallelujah. Take glory, Holy Ghost. Now forevermore. Jesus is the winner, man. Jesus is the winner man. Jesus is the winner man. The winner man all the time. Jesus is the winner man. Jesus is the winner man. Our God is the winner man. The winner man all the time. He's a winner man. Winner man. Winner man. Winner man. Na mana wina mana wina ma Wina mana wina mana wina ma A wina man all the time Hallelujah wina ma Na mana wina ma Wina mana wina mana wina ma Wina mana wina mana wina ma 
I win a man all the time. We are on the winning side. We are on the winning side. We are on the winning side. The winning side all the time. Hallelujah. Winning side, the winning side, the winning side. Winning side, the winning side, the winning side. Winning side, the winning side, the winning side. The winning side all the time. Hallelujah. Winning side, the winning side, the winning side. Winning side, the winning side, the winning side. When inside the when inside the when inside the when inside all the time he is the king of kings he is the lord of lord his name is Jesus 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 J E S U S. He is the King. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved, you are highly welcome. And on the screen is our prayer message title My Children Receive Divine Shield. Our children receive the divine shield of God. May the powerful hand of God, the shield of the Holy Ghost, the divine shield of God, the protective shield of God, the mighty shield of the Most High God, come upon our lives and our children in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, before we define what a divine shield is, what divine shield is, I like us to look at the book of Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5. It says for I said the Lord for I said the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the mix of her. I'm reading from the Bible, the King James Version. For I, see the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire. God himself says it's going to build a wall of fire round about us and members of our family. And will be the glory in the midst of her. God's glory is going to be in our midst. God said in his word that it's going to be a wall of fire Run about our children and his glory in the midst of our children. So there are two things here that protects our children. Also as us as parents. The wall of fire of God as the fire of God. Like a wall around us. And also the glory of God. The glory of God is a defensive shield. The glory of God is the might of God, the power of God, the, the honor of God. It is the bright light of God. The glory of God is a protective shield. When glory of God is upon our children, there is no power that can touch them. So God is using his glory to be in our midst as a shield to announce our life for prosperity because in the absence of the glory of god is what sickness austerity poverty and all kinds of trouble and that light is open already for attack and destruction but when your life our children's life is covered with the glory of god when our lives as parents is covered with the glory of god and also with the wall of fire of god no forces of darkness can be able to cross through and to, to, to steal or to attack us or no, our children. So that place is so loaded. For I, see the Lord, will be unto us a wall of fire and round about us and will be glory, will be his glory in the midst of her. In Proverbs chapter 10, I um, mean Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. It also reads. He says, the name of the Lord is a strong power. The righteous runs into it and is saved. 
The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is saved. Now who are the righteous? By the grace of God, we parents who have given our life to God and our children. By His grace, we are the righteous of the Lord. Bible says the name of God, God's name, is another defensive and divine shield. Jesus' name is a divine shield over the children of God. Let's see Psalm 34, 7 to 9. Upon the name of Christ, we run into that name and we see safety. We see protection. We are shielded from the fairy dart of the enemy. Psalm 34, verse 7 to 9 says, The angel of the Lord encamps all round those who fear him and delivers them. Oh! Test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord. You he sent. There is no want to those who fear him. I thank God because you are listening. Thank God for your light children. See where we've just read. There's another defensive shield there God used for us. He says, the angel of the Lord encamps all around us and our children. Why? Because we fear him. So the angel of the Lord is another defensive shield. It's another divine shield God used to protect his own children. That is why when we test the Lord, we see his goodness. These angels go around for us and our children. Each human being, every parent, every child, they have their own guardian angel. Now, it says, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Yes, when you trust in the Lord, we do not put our trust on horses or chariots as others are doing, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. That's where we receive divine shield and protection from God. And because we fear God, He causes good things to come our way. May the Lord, the, 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 the divine shield be the Lord of our children and our lives as parents in the name of Jesus. You see, in Psalm 18 verse 2, it says, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Look at that. There are so many defensive and divine shields in where we just read in Psalm 18 verse 2. First of all, the Lord our God is our rock. So Jesus Christ is the rock of ages, the true rock. The sure foundation which all human foundations that are born again are connected to. So we are anchored upon Jesus. Our children, is they are anchored upon Jesus. No power can be able to, to destroy that firmness that has been attached to the Lord Jesus. In, the, in our lives as parents and also in the life of our children. Why? Because we are rooted Unto the rock of ages, Jesus Christ. So Jesus, the Lord Jesus is our di divine shield. Jesus as the rock is our divine shield. Jesus as our fortress is our divine shield. Jesus as our deliverer is our divine shield. God is my rock in whom I take refuge. Refuge, yeah. Jesus is our div 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 the divine refuge. It's our divine shield also. It's our shield and the horn of our salvation. And our what? Stronghold. So there are a lot of things there protecting the saints of God, the children of God. Look at Psalm 7 to, uh, to 10. It says, My shield is God most high. My shield, our children's shield, your shield as parents, is God most high. Who saves the upright in heart? So God is our shield. It's in the Bible. It's our de defensive shield and our divine shield. So the only way you can qualify to be protected and be shielded by God is, is if you are upright in heart. You have given your life to God. You have no business with the camp of the devil. You have no business with sin. God, because you are an upright of God, God becomes your divine shield. Another reason is again is if we, are, we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior, as the horn of our salvation, God will become our shield. Or God, when we fear God, we test Him, we trust in Him, we depend on God, not on what we have. Then God encamps around us with His angels. So now, at that level, the angels of God become our divine shield. And when we run into the name of the Lord, because we are children of God, we see safety there. 
At that level, the name of Jesus protects us. It becomes a divine shield. Again, when we hold on to God strongly and we believe in Him, then the Bible says it's going to be like a wall of fire around us and also the glory in our midst. So, you just have to know God. Be a born again child of God. You must have confessed and repented of your sins for you to enjoy this divine insurance, divine shielding, divine protection and guidance from the Lord. I pray that as children, you will have relationship with God and be closer to God our Creator in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to mention all the things I just read in Zechariah 2 verse 5, Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10, Psalm 34, 7 to 9, um, Psalm 18 verse 2, and Psalm 7 verse 10. Now, what are the divine shield? The few ones we just read from the Bible. The Lord himself is a divine shield. That is God, Jesus as our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Ghost as our comforter. These three God as one is our divine shield. The wall of fire of God is our divine shield. The glory of God is a divine shield to us. The name of the Lord Jesus' name himself is our divine shield. Jesus as a strong tower is our divine shield. No power can approve that tower. What again is our divine shield? The angel of the Lord is our divine shield. God sends his angel to go from place to place to guide us. Anywhere we go, it goes with us. What again is our divine shield there? Rock. Jesus as a rock, as our fortress, as our deliverer. God as our rock, as our refuge, our shield, horn of our salvation, stronghold. All these I just mentioned are divine shield. God's divine shield or God himself as a shield over our lives and over our children. May the divine shield of God never disappear from our lives in the name of Jesus. Now, what is divine shield? What is divine shield? Divine shield, in fact, the word shield is a metallic structure they use in war zone or during war scenario. Soldiers or army use it to protect themselves from enemies' attack. Enemies arrows or gunshot. Enemies bullet. It's a shield to protect those who are in war front from the enemy's destructions or room. So it's a protective metallic structure. They put on their around their head like a helmet, cover their face, their chest, their back to safeguard and protect them from the weapons of the enemy. Now, those are just physical ones. How much more the spiritual ones? The spiritual ones we just mentioned. That one they have limitation. Sometimes the bullet can go through some other places that are open in the shield. But when the spiritual divine shield of God is upon you, there is no opening. There is no bullet of darkness from Satan or demons that can cross, cross through into your spirit, soul, and body. It's not possible. Because Jesus himself guaranteed that protection and ensured our children. That is why the guardian angels of our children, they are always by their side. And no forces of darkness can touch them. Provided those children are always in tune with God. So, divine shield is an act of God becoming our defensive and protective stronghold like a supernatural cover guiding or protecting us from the devils, demons, and wicked people's attacks and troubles. So, divine shield is an act of God or a weapon of God that becomes our defensive and protective stronghold like a supernatural cover guiding or protecting us from the devils, demons, and wicked people's attacks and problems. 
So when God is your divine shield, God is your defensive and protective stronghold. Meaning that there is a, a, a high power, a formidable, well-built, spiritually built power. Like a na the name of Jesus, like the glory of God, like the wall of fire. Now, when you come into that shield, which is also a, like a spiritual rock, God shield you there. He protects you there. He defends you there. Because it's a, it's, a def it's, it's, a, it's a defensive divine stronghold. No forces can be able to uproot it out of your life because you are inside it. You are inside the rock. You are inside that divine rock. You are inside that uh, supernatural world defensive shield. Away of protecting us and our children away from demons, Satan, and wicked people's attack. May you not be outside the divine shield of God in the name of Jesus. I pray for our children. May our children not be outside the divine shield of God in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, we will always be inside the divine shield to receive maximum and ceaseless protection in the name of Jesus. God becomes a divine instrument to shield and protect us against dark blows and missiles from both physical and spiritual realms. God himself became what? Or become our... God becomes a, our div, divine instrument. I told you that a shield is a metallic structure. God becomes that divine metallic instrument to shield our children, to shield us as parents, to protect us against dark blows and missiles of the enemy, from, whether from physical or spiritual realms. One major shield God puts around our children are guardian angels. There are several guardian angels in the life of so many children of God. Every child of God has his own angel. And those angels, look at it in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, one angel could be able to kill 185,000 senatorials. How much more? The angel, what do you think the angel of God that are with our children, those guardian angels will do? Look at that. What can the devil do if one angel of God could kill that? Numbers of human beings. You can see how defensive God so much love is soon. And do you know that our children are more protected than even we as parents? Because they are so innocent and they are completely sinless. Very guiltless children. Their angels are always with them. Unlike we parents that we are always going around with one struggle of things and thoughts of the other. Those children are pure like. That is why even as a parent, you, your guardian angel has left you, you will notice all kinds of attack and trouble. May the guardian angel of God never leave our children, nor leave us as parents in the name of Jesus. So I repeat again, one major shield God puts around our children are their guardian angels. He also uses his fire. God uses his fire. Or walls of fire. His power. His spirit. His presence. His glory. His might. His name. God uses his word. He uses his blood. That's the blood of Jesus. To shield and protect us and our children. Anyone who is outside the divine shield of God. May suffer attack sickness or death that is why we cannot be outside that shield because we may suffer attack sickness or death there are so many persons in the bible that were shielded by god divinely they enjoyed the divine shield of god if you look at the bible you will see that adam and eve god shielded them from nakedness and shame and disgrace. He made leather and skin from an animal and covered them. To show you how loving our God is. That's the same way God shields our children every day. So if your children are going through any turbulence or attack. We are here to pray. 
their guardian angel shall return and God shall begin to shield them as we pray miraculously in the name of Jesus. And when God shields you, when God shields you, shield you and I and our children, no forces of darkness can be in that body. No forces of darkness can be able to take charge of that soul or spirit. May the mercy of God find us as parents and our children, or and also our children, in the name of Jesus. God protected and shielded Noah in the Bible. He put him in the ark. That was a shield. And Noah and his family were not destroyed. God shielded Abraham. He shielded Isaac. He shielded Jacob. God shielded Joseph. He shielded David. He shielded Solomon. God shielded Daniel. God shielded uh, and he protected the three uh, Hebrew children. Shedrach, Meshach and Abednego. God also shielded Jeremiah. They threw him in the, in, in, in the dungeon with mail and, water, and no water. But God shielded him there. He didn't die. They brought him out and put him in the king's court. And they began to give him water and bread by the mandate of the king. Because God was with him. Anywhere our children find themselves. In this uh, a pandemic, virus pandemic that is everywhere. Even when they will resume school. The divine shield of God shall be upon our children. Even as our, 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 upon us as parents. In the name of Jesus. The God that protected and shielded Jeremiah. Shall shield our children and shield us as parents. In the name of Jesus. God shielded and protected Hezekiah. He protected Elijah and Elisha. He did that in the New Testament for all his disciples. And the God himself protected the boyhood Jesus Christ. And no forces of darkness were able to destroy them. God shielded Moses. You saw the battle Moses, what Moses went through. God shielded him. He protected him. They put him in the water, in the basket, in the water, but the power and the presence of God accompanied Moses until he, he found favor before the, one of the daughters of, uh, of Pharaoh. May God shield and protection bring favor for our children. May it bring plenty and surplus for our children in the name of Jesus. Beloved, when you enjoy the presence and the protection of God, it's going to be daily provision in your life. That's what our children will enjoy. And that's what we parents will enjoy as we pray this prayer. We are going to close our eyes and confess our sins before God. Say, Lord Jesus, I have sinned against you. I'm outside your shield and your protection. Because my sin has exposed me. My sin has put me out outside your shield. Father, let your mercy prevail. Have mercy upon me. Lord God, in heaven, forgive me of my sins. I repent from my sins. Father, have mercy upon our children. Whatever they have done that has, that they, where they have failed you, Father, please forgive them. And shield them now in the name of Jesus. Father, shield our children now in the name of Jesus. Father, have mercy upon us. Forgive us of our sins. We repent from them. Thank you, Father, for forgiving us. In Jesus' name we repent. Amen. Beloved, we are going to pray so that we receive back the shield of the Lord. The outstretched right arm of God to be upon us. The wings of the Lord to cover us. We want to be under the shadow of the Almighty. The shadow of the Almighty is also a shield. We want to be under the wings of the Lord. We want to be under the grace and the mercy and the righteousness of the Lord. These are shield, divine shield. We want to be under the favor of God. When the favor of God is upon you, it will cover you away from poverty. When the healing of God is upon you, it will separate you from sicknesses. So these are all divine shield. We need all these things for our children. We need it for our lives also as parents. So we are going to pray like this. Say, mercy of God, come upon my children. In the name of Jesus. You can pray for yourself also, parents, as you are praying for your children. Mercy of God, come upon my children. In the name of Jesus. Mercy of God, come upon our children. In the name of Jesus. Mercy of God. Come upon our children. In the name of Jesus. Mercy of God. Come upon our children. In the name of Jesus. Mercy of God. Come upon our children. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen.
any crack in my children's foundation receive divine repair in the name of Jesus any crack in our children's foundation receive divine repair in the name of Jesus any crack in our children's foundation receive divine repair in the name of Jesus any crack in our children's foundation receive divine repair in the name of Jesus any crack in our children's foundation receive divine repair do you see divine repair receive divine repair receive divine repair receive divine repair in the name of Jesus any crack in my children's foundation in our children's foundation receive divine repair receive divine repair in the name of Jesus any crack in our foundation as parents receive divine repair receive divine repair receive divine repair in the name of Jesus any crack in any child's foundation worldwide I say receive divine repair in the name of Jesus any crack by the enemy in the life of any of our children where Satan, demons, wicked spirits are attacking them receive divine repair in the name of Jesus receive divine repair receive divine repair receive divine repair in the name of Jesus any crack in my foundation in my wife, my children's foundation receive divine repair in the name of Jesus any crack in our children's foundation worldwide receive divine repair receive divine repair in Jesus name we are here Amen children and youth make sure you are praying please pray very well you need this prayer most especially when they call off this uh, pandemic holiday whatever and you are res res resume school you just want to be in the hand of God not in the hand of any regulation or whatever or any guidelines there because no matter how you try to protect yourself some and some are, we are not perfect human beings we may fail the procedures but even when we fail we commit error we expose ourselves to even the virus there is a divine shield that cannot fail error that can that can swallow error that can destroy any error that can that that that, 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 that can that can make a nonsense of any procedure that you and i may fail that divine shield that error mistake cannot swallow that cannot expose us to sickness and the virus is jesus christ so that is why you must pray so that god will put a shield upon you protective shield and also begin to speak his blood upon you for total insurance maximum insurance while he releases your guardian angels by your side these are the things we need as children before we go back to school we are going to pray like this say any say every evil covenant exposing my children for attack every evil covenant exposing our children for attack break in the name of jesus break in the name of jesus break in the name of jesus break aha uh -huh, break them any evil covenant exposing our children for attack break in the name of jesus 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 aha evil covenant exposing our children for constant attack break in the name of jesus 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 any evil covenant exposing our children's life and their bodies their blood for sicknesses for co for constant attack break in the name of jesus 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 break up release our children in jesus name they are broken amen i don't know the family you come from whatever covenant of darkness the agreement they have with satan that your family that our children will be exposed for constant sickness and attack let god break such covenant over those children's life let god arise break that covenant over our lives as parents let god arise break that covenant over the life of our children in the name of jesus i speak healing into that body 
receive your healing and let your foundation now receive divine maximum protection and, and insurance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are going to declare this one. Say any cause diverting God's protection away from our children. Any cause diverting God's protection away from our children. Back in the name of Jesus. 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 Any cause diverting God's protection in the life of any of our children, whether that cause is issued by the ancestors along ancestral lineage, finding themselves through blood into our children, exposing them for constant sickness, exposing them for constant attack, let that cause break now, 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 let us go now. Children, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. Aha, uh -huh. thank you, my father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, they are broken. Amen. You are going to declare this one family yoke of transgression. Hey, a yoke they put on the neck of all family members. Anywhere they go, that yoke of the ancestral iniquity and pollution is on the neck of all parents, all children. Hey, no way. Family yoke of transgression rendering my children to slavery. Family yoke of transgression rendering our children to slavery. Blood of Jesus. Wipe it out in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Wipe it out in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Wipe it out in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Wipe it out in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Wipe it out in the name of Jesus. You family yoke of transgression. Rendering our children for constant attack. For slavery, let them go now. Blood of Jesus, wipe it out in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, wipe it out in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, wipe it out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, God answers prayer. Thank you, my father. You are going to declare this one. Say power source of witchcraft protection. Paraventure, there is a protection on your family, but it's not Jesus' protection. They did it with concocted materials, appeasing the devil, mixture of darkness, formula of witchcraft. They burn and boil the thing. People drank it in the family and they buried some of it as charm, as protective uh, arm or instrument or whatever. As a third eye to watch family members in the process, it releases familiar spirits into their blood and their foundation, and it begins to guide. Look as if it's guiding them. No way, it's not a guide. That thing exposes them to disaster. When it's time for them to swallow their blood, it swallows the family's blood. But it looks as if it's giving them word, money. Mm -mm. It's a demonic protection. There is no good gift from Satan. So many families are under witchcraft protection. It's a satanic protection. It doesn't last. He exposes to destruction at the end and ends in hellfire. You may not know the family you come from as a parent, whether that, that witchcraft protection is upon you and your children. When one satanic protection is upon anybody, the angel of God disappears. There is no connection between light and darkness. Angel, the, Your guardian angel cannot stay there when the devil is protecting you. So it's an agreement, a team of dedication and initiation they do to protect. They do this protection in form of incision. They put incision on our lives, on our body. Thank God for our children. They don't have it. 
They tell us that because of the timely sickness that refuses to go, so they have to take you to the native doctor and uh, or the shriner, and they cut some part of your body. They put some of those things there, and before you know what is happening, the sickness disappear. It doesn't disappear. It coming back with full force. It will just give you some time of twenty years. Then later, later, the person dies untimely. Sometimes gasoline motor accident. Devil has no good gift. So, you, in order to enjoy a full-blown maximum protection from God, that kind of evil protection has to be wiped out. You are going to pray this prayer. Please pray, parents. Pray for yourself. Pray for your children. I beg you, pray. And as you pray, the Lord shall appear and set you and I free. In the name of Jesus. You are going to declare like this. Say, power source of witchcraft protection upon my children. Upon my life as a parent. Aha. That is where they are drawing, where the, where the protection is drawing power from to cover you. That's what we want to destroy. Power source of witchcraft protection upon our children or upon my life as a parent. Perish by the blood of Jesus. 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 You power source of witchcraft protection upon our children, upon our lives as parents. Perish by the blood of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name, they are destroyed. Amen. Every mark of evil protection upon our children. Every mark of evil protection upon our children disappear by the blood of Jesus. Disappear by the blood of Jesus. Disappear by the blood of Jesus. Mark of evil protection upon our children. Upon our lives as parents, disappear by the blood of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That mark has gone out of us. As you have just prayed it, that mark, the blood will just wipe it out. God does not waste time. The mark will just let us now. Glory be to the name of the Lord. You are going to declare this one. Please pray this one very well. Break it very well. Many are under the verge of what? Satanic dedication. Say, dedication to evil spirit. Exposing my children to constant attacks. Dedication to evil spirits. Exposing our children to constant attacks. Break in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 to evil spirits exposing our children for constant attack. Break, 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 break off in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft dedication, occult dedication, marine spirit dedication, exposing my children, exposing your children, exposing our lives as parents to constant attack or for constant attack. Break. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray for you. Every satanic dedication done in your blood or done against you for that spirit to be following you, thereby causing you to be going to one problem to the other. Let that dedication expire in the name of Jesus. Expire in the name of Jesus. Expire in the name of Jesus. Expire in the name of 
Jesus. Expire in the name of Jesus. Be free. The Bible says, if the Son of Man therefore has set you free, ye are free indeed. You are free from all familiar spirit dedication. You are free from all witchcraft spirit dedication. You are free from all marine spirit dedication. You are free from environmental witchcraft dedication. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are going to declare this one. Say, my children, run into the name of the Lord, which is a strong power, and be protected in the name of Jesus. Our children, run into the name of the Lord, which is a strong power, and be protected in the name of Jesus. Our children, they run into the name of the Lord, which is which is a strong tower and they are protected in the name of jesus our children they run into the name of the lord which is a strong tower and they are protected there in the name of jesus our children anywhere they go let them run into the name of the lord which is a strong tower and they are protected there in the name of Jesus, we as parents, we run into the name of the Lord, which is a strong power, and we are protected there. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are going to declare this one powerfully again. Please pray this one very well. I'm going to call the divine shield now. Say, glory of God. Mercy of God. Power of God, presence of God, shadow of the Almighty, word of God, wings of God, wall of fire of God, spirit of God, favor of God, grace of God, might of God, wisdom of God, favor of God. Hand of God, name of God, overshadow our children, overshadow our lives, and protect us in the name of Jesus. Overshadow our children, overshadow our lives, and protect us in the name of Jesus. Overshadow our children, overshadow our lives, and protect us in the name of Jesus. Overshadow our children, overshadow our lives, and protect us in the name of Jesus. Overshadow our children, overshadow our lives, and protect us in the name of Jesus. Overshadow our children, overshadow our lives, and protect us in the name of Jesus. Overshadow our children, overshadow our lives, and protect us in the name of Jesus. Overshadow our children, overshadow our lives, and protect us in the name of Jesus. Overshadow our children, overshadow our lives, and protect us in the name of Jesus. Overshadow our children, overshadow our lives, and protect us in the name of Jesus. Let the glory of God, let the mercy of God, power of God, presence of God, wings of God, shadow of God Almighty, wall of fire of God, grace of God, might of God, spirit of God, wisdom of God, favor of God, healing of God, grace of God, hand of God, name of God, word of God, overshadow our children, overshadow our lives as parents, in the name of Jesus, overshadow our children, overshadow our lives, and protect us, in the name of Jesus, overshadow our children, overshadow our lives, and protect us, in the name of Jesus, overshadow our children, overshadow our lives as parents, and protect us, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we receive the protection, Amen, Beloved, there is the evil angel of death going around killing. They have names for it. But there is a name that is a shield, the name of Jesus. When the world has no formula or no solution to the pandemic, Jesus Christ's name is the solution. We have a choice now to go into the name of the Lord Jesus and we will receive safety there. And let the blood of Jesus come upon us. 
I believe you will choose that path. You are going to declare this one. Because when you go out there, Bible says no weapon, including anything moving in the air on ground, no weapon fashioned against you and our children shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. You are going to pray this last two prayer. Say, guardian angel of God, walk with my children and protect them. In the name of Jesus. Guardian angel of God, walk with our children and protect them. In the name of Jesus. Guardian angel of God, walk with our children and protect them. In the name of Jesus. Guardian angel of God, walk with our children and protect them. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere our children will go. Guardian angel of God, walk with our children and protect them. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere we go as parents. Guardian angel of God, walk with our children. And protect, and protect us in the name of Jesus. Anywhere we go as parents, guardian angel of God, walk with us and protect us in the name of Jesus. Anywhere that our children shall find themselves, whether in the mall, in their schools, at home, or outside playing, oh, guardian angel of God, walk with our children and protect them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we receive the protection. Amen. The Bible declares He say henceforth Let no man trouble our children Let no man trouble us As parents Let no witch or wizard Let no pandemic virus trouble us For we bear on our body Our children bear on their body The mark of the Lord Jesus the Bible says so shall they fear The name of the Lord from the east Beloved, any power that rises from the east and the west in order to attack anyone or our children as they go back to school when they call off this thing, ah, by any means, whether through air or water, ah, and they will be afraid of his glory from the rising. Any power that gathered together, the spirit of God shall come in like a flood and be paralyzed the activity. I pray, let the divine flood of God appear before our children from the east, from the west, from the south, from the north. Destroy any sickness, any virus. Destroy any problem you are going through now as a child. Destroy any forces of darkness that will, that will come to attack us as parents and waste them to the abyss. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are going to declare this one. And this is the last prayer. Say, oh, divine shield of God. Hmm. Oh, divine shield of God. Oh, divine shield of the Holy Ghost. Oh, divine shield in the blood of Jesus. Oh, divine shield in the word of God. Come upon me. Come upon my children in the name of Jesus. Oh, divine shield of God. Oh, divine shield of the Holy Ghost. Oh, divine shield in the blood of Jesus. Oh, divine shield of the word of God. Come upon me now. Come upon my children in the name of Jesus. Come upon me now. Come upon my children in the name of Jesus. Come upon us now. Come upon our children in the name of Jesus. Come upon us now. Come upon our children in the name of Jesus. Come upon us now. Come upon our children in the name of Jesus. Come upon us now. Come upon our children in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we receive our protection. Amen. Father, I pray for these parents and their children worldwide as i also pray for myself my family and my children let the shekinah glory of god overshadow us as a divine coverage in the name of jesus let the mercy of god the power of god the name of jesus the blood of jesus the fire of god the fire of the holy ghost the word of god the favor of god the healing power of god 
Let, the, let them become divine shield, protective defense, protective stronghold upon our lives and our children. In the name of Jesus, no wicked weapon of the enemy fashion against us shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, every enterprise of darkness sponsored against us, we cast them into the abyss, back to sender. In the name of Jesus, no one here shall die. No one here shall suffer sickness. I speak as a servant of God over the life of those children. Every trouble in the blood, any known sickness, I command you now, disappear from the life of those children. In the name of Jesus, every struggle academically, uh -uh, you are doing catch up to meet up your academic pursuit. Every spirit, familiar spirit troubling your life, be arrested and be cast out of those children now. In the name of Jesus, the power that are fighting you from the dark, you those children, the powers attacking you from dream. I command your stronghold, crumble. Let the powers be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus overshadow the spirit of our children, overshadow the soul of our children, overshadow the body of our children. In the name of Jesus, I cover our children with the blood of Jesus. Let their guardian angel appear, begin to fight battle and grant them victory and healing. In the name of Jesus. As parents, Lord, I pray, let your shield be upon us. Any one of us that have done anything so bad that the angels have slept us, let your mercy speak and rejoice over judgment. Let the angel of God come back to our lives and begin to protect us, fight for us. In the name of Jesus, every stormy situation in the life of any child in the hospital uh -uh, that have been labeled with this virus, I decree in the life of those children and the life of those parents that are sick of this pandemic, uh, pandemic virus. Now, let peace be still. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. Receive Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. In the name of Jesus, you will not die. You will live to declare the words of the Lord. So it is. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, to the resurrection power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are secure. Three resounding victory, protective, amen. 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 Beloved, I congratulate you for joining. This is the All Lost Save Our Children prayer platform on Facebook network. And we bless the name of the Lord. By the special grace of God, we are going to gather next week, Tuesday, same time, 8 p.m. Join us and invite your family and help us share this video everywhere. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. The Lord's name be lifted and may his glory and thanks praise be ascribed to his name forever in the name of jesus amen we are going to share the grace in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy of god shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell the house of the lord forever in jesus name we pray amen we are going to give God three resounding hallelujah. 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 Have a blessed, blessed week ahead. Thank you for joining. God bless you.